hello everybody, Don Shanks, Alan Hudson, nice cup of coffee there, Sunday morning now. God damn, Don. I'm on the Diet Coke, folks, don't worry about me. A bit of a heavy night last night, Saturday. <laughs> I was watching that um, Norwich Man U game. How lucky were they in the end, Man U? Well, it's enough to drive you to drink watching that, <laughs> you know. It's, um, it was one of those games, it was one of those games where you really uh, needed a crowd. To, to lift something up because it was that, you know. It was. It, was like, it really was like a practice game, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Actually, I wish you'd have gone into penalties right yeah, after the 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know, to yeah. see the calamity of, I, calamity I, of a goal that. Like, I'd, really, I'd really think, Don, I, I've said this and a lot of people think I'm crackers, but uh, <laughs> I, think, I think before cup games, you know, especially when we, and, and when we go into Europe and World Cup. I think they should have the penalties before the game. Yeah, get it sorted out. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> when they get, when it gets like ten minutes, fifteen minutes before the end, they're not whoever lost the penalties. penalties, whoever lost the penalties before the game, no, they got to throw it in. Yeah, they're going out. Yeah, you know. Right. So it's it's interesting. That's a good point. There, we'll get hold of FIFA and um, get yeah, that. Yeah, I know they're taking it out of me, but well, um, no, I, I really do. That I do think it'll work as well, and it'll make, make it. Especially with the crowd before the game, that would be be really exciting. Yeah, they'd all be in there nice and early, wouldn't they? Packed yeah, up, yeah, just yeah. to see the penalties. And um, I suppose as well, there's no pressure on the players. Then you're taking it early. You've still got a chance to redeem yourself in the game. Worst Absolutely. case scenario. Absolutely. And and as I say, about 20 minutes ago, in in your mind, especially if they're having these breaks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're serving vodka and orange or whatever it is the half time? They needed right. vodka and orange last night. Oh, they need something to lighten up. Was it a little yeah. bit drab? I mean, Man United have been playing well. They've been quite refreshing of late. They're one of my sort of teams to get plenty of goals in the Premier League. They made a few changes in all fairness. I don't think it helps when they had, you know, when, you know, we used to say they got a strong bench and they got a. You know all their big names on the bench. If things don't look right, they'll they can bring them on. But it didn't seem to work, did it? No. I mean, I, I like to think get the job done first and bring them off. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that's enough from Man U. They're in the semi-finals. One Premier League game today, Alan. A real important game for Watford playing at home to Southampton. Well, it's a chance to just pull away from West Ham and put more pressure on West Ham. Uh, they're a point in front of West Ham. They win tonight. Nice home game. Uh, the way Southampton played the other night, they look like they're ready for a holiday. Um, yeah, they were disappointing. But yeah. I mean, obviously, there was a couple of individual errors against the Arsenal. You know, a man down late on. Um, but they never really seemed to get going at home. I mean, they got a tremendous away record. They scored in every game bar two, which was away at Liverpool and away at Burnley. Yeah. Everywhere else they've scored. So really, I don't see any difference tonight them not scoring against Watford. You've got Danny Ings, you've got like Shane Long, you know, he's a journeyman. They know what, how to get yeah. the job done up there. They've got Redmond who can do a little bit of magic on the wing. And but it's funny you say it, Don. It's, uh, we, we talk, because we, we do think about it a lot, don't we? You, you think, I was think, sitting there thinking the other night about, um, you know, at the bridge, in the Victoria Grand Estate, we had a fantastic home record at Victoria. We were almost unbeatable. And yet you've got a team that can't win at home. And the, what, what, is it a psychological thing or...? Well, I mean, over the years, I mean, obviously, like... You the know, Dell, I mean, the old ground was fantastic. That was yeah. our place to go to. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, back in the old days when I was playing at QPR, you, you do get that little mindset. If you can't win at home, it's just sort of... Sometimes you're trying too hard, things don't seem to happen, but it well, can I think you struggled, you struggled at the Rangers with Shanksy, didn't you? Uh, with with Bolsey. With Bolsey. Stand, was, yeah. uh, because you knew the betting shop was just so close <laughs> to the ground. And the White City dogs out. Just and the dogs, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Didn't want any sort of uh, extra time, wanted to sort of get out a bit lively yeah, and, um, no, so you come off a bit get early, down and have a bit of action, you know. Yeah. So we talk about Watford. Obviously, you've got the big guy up front, Deeney. Is he... Back in business right now, would you say? No, uh, I thought they. One of my predictions after lockdown was they'll be one of the strongest teams, and they haven't proved to be. Um, I mean, they were a bit disappointing against Burnley, and Burnley didn't really have their strongest side out. You know, you've got to sort of think Watford really have missed the beat there by not picking up at least a point. Yeah, yeah, but uh, they're they're more of a side at home. 
Uh, and tonight they know. I mean, if I mean, they've got a lot of firing power there, you know, with Zar, Decorey, Pariah, Will Hughes in midfield. You know, there's a bit of creativity. You can see them going for it. I mean, Southampton, what are they, 10 points? They're three points away from, you know, the magical 40, guaranteed to stay up. Do you think they've lost a little bit of motivation, intensity? Well, it seems the uh, they had the they they had the big match, didn't they, to, against Liverpool on their but first Liverpool bubble when they were going for the record number of wins. I mean, the... Star scored against Liverpool that day, and he looks lively. And both him and Decorey against Leicester, they had chances. You know, they could have put like a couple on the board there, and um, yeah, it'd have been a different story today. Today's really. A, a really a must-win game for Watford, I think, today. Well, you've got to think, if you can't beat Southampton, I'm Southampton have actually got nothing to play for. Right. So yeah. you've got to out, you've got to out-muscle them. I mean, I mean, Watford are all about muscle, from Deeney to the to the centre half. And I tell you what, I tell you what, something else we miss about Watford: the goal, the goalkeepers kept them in the league for a couple of years. Right. Superb, uh -huh. unbelievable. Uh, and he never gets any notice, but um, now it's that up to the forwards. They need a goal, they need it bad. They scored three against Liverpool, which no one done. That was yeah. a couple of months, you know. I mean, that was amazing that day, wasn't it? Yeah, like, God, that it could have been mean. six. Yeah, but, just uh, shows everyone has a bad day. Liverpool, the whole lot of them had a bad day then. Yeah, well, they, they, they were thinking... I mean, yeah. one interesting stat that I picked up on. Um, Watford haven't scored a goal outside the penalty box shooting range. I think they had 121 shots and not scored one. I find that unbelievable. You know, you think like, you know, you're going to get to the box and, you know, let one go like Firmino, Liverpool the other day, driving them in. Like, so that must, that must include free kicks as well. Well, I think free kicks, they launch them into the box and then they, that's where they're getting their goals, you know. Yeah. And like, obviously, Deeney today, he... But do you think they have shooting practice? Well, they'd better start if they're not. God <laughs> almighty, I mean, if you can't... I mean, I take it that stat is right. 121 shots, no goals from outside of the penalty box. In a modern day game, with the balls flying around like they do, that's hard to comprehend. Yeah. I mean, you think someone even from a corner would head one out and someone like, even like myself, might get on the end of one. Oh, mate, no, no. you... <laughs> what's the goals the other night, Tom? So, I mean, I think, I think it's going to be an interesting game there. And again, it's it's really that one where they they really do need the whole, the Watford fans in there, and they're not going to have them. No, um, but tonight the motivation is he's got to show them the league table before they go out and say three points tonight. You're four points ahead of West Ham the next team, and then that really does put it on West Ham for their next game. Yeah, I think that's the important thing. Watford can't lose tonight or today. They've got to get something. And as you say, that just puts more intense pressure on Bournemouth, on West Ham, yeah. on Villa. And sort of, like you, I think Watford have probably got too much to be going down. But we, we, we're sort of saying that about everybody. I, I, I think it's again, Don, I really believe that that, lock, that that lockdown's affected teams in different ways. Some teams have come it's out. It's affected my own team, QBR. We haven't scored a goal. Yeah, got beat yeah. Stoke, look at Stoke. You know, yeah, last night, uh, you know, there's murders up in Stoke. Um, well, they've got uh, the old manager at Middlesbrough now. Um, Warnock, yeah. Yeah, Neil. But Bet365 are making fortune, so... Well, maybe they'll sing a few quid in and get a couple of £20 million pound players for the old Stoke really, and get them, get them back in business. So, let's have a little prediction, Eats. Watford, Southampton. I can't see lots of goals, personally. I can see it being a sort of a 1-0, 2-1 two, two type I game. I think they'll sling it in tonight, Watford. They'll sling, they'll sling it in the mix. They'll say, look, Southampton, they've packed their bags to go away on holiday. Let's really get at them. And Nigel Pearson, when it, get it in there. And let's, let's pick up the bits and pieces. Get, and let's just scrap the night. Uh, because there's the old saying about results are more important than performance. Uh, and at this stage, that's what it's all about. I oh, mean, no, I agree. What, what Villa would give for three points. I mean, they just can't get the three points of love or money. See, a lot of these teams, like the Villa, like Watford, 
like West Ham, like Bournemouth. They're all doing the same thing. You know what it is? Not scoring goals. Yeah. They can't get them in the net. I mean, Bournemouth had a few chances. You know, West Ham, they've all been creating them, but they just can't put them in at the moment. Well, they're, they're short on strikers, and they? It just goes to show. You know, I mean, like Jack Grealish, your man, my man. I mean, come on, Jack, let's yeah. get a little bit more lively and get a... You know, he had a couple of decent half shots yesterday. Well, yeah, I mean, but if you look at their... You know, I mean, you're, what you just said about the stats, not scoring outside the box. Uh, I mean, you can imagine being a goalkeeper playing against them. You wouldn't, yeah. even, you wouldn't even have to worry, would you? <laughs> no, that's right. You know, you just... <laughs> well, you just sort of sit there talking to someone, the ball boy or something. Well, pour yourself a drink. <laughs> uh, but, um, Deanie... He's got, he's got to come up large you know, today. I mean, he's, he's got to, like, be real busy and, and, and set about like the Southampton defence. And I think the Corey, the Corey for me, is the one that can just creep in there and get that, you know, that little bit of a magic touch and, and maybe um, put one in there for Watford. He's a bit of pressure. And, you know, maybe a 1-0 game, 1-1 one, one game for me. I'm going, I, I think Watford is, might just to, I, I think they'll get a couple of goals tonight, Watford. Yeah. I, can, I can see them really throwing it in tonight. Uh, if, they, if they don't, they need... I mean, Nigel Pearson would leave, leave again, wouldn't he? How many jobs does he want? <laughs> you know? And what about Danny Ings? I mean, he's got the golden boot opportunities. I think that's probably all Southampton are really playing for now, is maybe to get him up there and win that golden boot, perhaps. Well, you think so. You, but you thought the same about uh, uh, the other night with Vardy, didn't you? No, but... Uh, it doesn't seem to matter. Well, none of them seem to be scoring. No. Like, no. you know, Aguero's out of it. Adabiani can't score. Vardy can't score. Yeah. You know, you've got Jimenez scoring for fun down there. Yeah. We've got Danny scoring a few goals. My man Marcus, of course, he's, he's, he's too far out of the action. You know, he's looking, he's looking just a little bit too, like, casual or something. You know, there's no, like... Real zip in there. I mean, I just want to see him in the danger zone. Vitamin D. Vitamin. I want to see him getting a few goals to give me a bit of hope in the golden boat. Anyway, from me, Don, Alan, I'm going 1-0, one 1-1 nil, one one the game. I'm going 2-0, two, 3-0, two nil, 3-1 three nil, three Watford. I'm going to go for goals tonight. So here you go, the Hornets fans. Alan's gone with the you Hornets. today. Elton John fan. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Rocket man. Yeah, Rocket okay. Man. Well, anyway, from me, Don, from Alan, stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.